I'm so happy. This is great. Um, Perfect Legacy Promotions presents Bread Magazine with our special guest, Patrice Lovely, a.k.a. Miss Hattie. Hey, what's happening with you? All right. Glad that you could be a part of Bread Magazine. Just super excited. I'm glad to be here. Everybody didn't make it. It's people that didn't make it, but bless God, we made it. We did. We're we going to live to tell the story. That's right. Through the storm and through the rain, we made it, Miss Hattie. Ain't that nice? That's right. <laughs> so tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you got going on. Well, baby, everybody pretty much know me. I've been around the world and I, 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 I'm doing a whole lot of good things. I just finished my new song called Go On Get You Some. And, and you know, I'm so excited about that because my fans, they, they, they're the ones that inspired me to do that song. They always want me to shout out, you know, what city they're from and everything. And so, and so that's what that song was. It was me shouting out all the different states and things where the, where the people love me. And um, the song just simply talks about, you know, whatever you need, go and get you some. I know sometimes in life and things right now might look bad, but if you keep your head up and you stay focused, then everything is going to be all right. And God got our back. They always told me, if you're going to pray about it, then why worry? And if you're going to worry about it, then why pray? Just trust God and believe God that God got our back and everything going to be all right. So whatever you need, go and get you something. You need a little prayer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I heard the song. I say, I know this is Miss Hattie on this song. I gotta go get you some. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whatever you need, go and get you some. I don't know what you need. Some people need peace of mind. They go and get you some. Some people need joy. Go and get you some. Some people need to make them a quick stick and move situation. Go and get you some. Whatever you need. <laughs> Whatever floats your back. Look, look, we don't need everybody going to get some. Look, that, that, they going to be going to rob the bank and say, Miss Hattie, tell us to go get us some. <laughs> <laughs> You don't need everybody going to rob the bank and stick people up because Miss Hattie said, go get you some. Nah, I ain't tell you go get you no case now. That's a different <laughs> <laughs> And if you're going to get you some of that, then you're going to be on your own. Then you're going to need to get somebody to get you up out of that. <laughs> That's right. You're going to have to, you gonna have to dig Johnny Cochran up to get you out of that one, Miss Hattie. <laughs> That's so crazy. It's crazy what's going on in the world today. But like I said, God just told me to trust him. And I promise you, before God and the devil, when you trust God, everything going to work out. And sometimes it might not look like it's going in your favor. But the Bible said all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and called according to his purpose. And so sometimes his purpose might not be what you think and you just have to just listen to him listen to your spirit you know what I mean and just be and just be glad glad and grateful that God loves us enough to take us to where you know we we, we need to go and trust him I'm just so excited we've been working on a new pilot too we just finished it and so it's my uh had its new 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 sitcom and God bless me to do that Terry Vaughn y'all know Terry Vaughn from uh, Steve Harvey, uh, uh -huh. she directed it for me, and um, just a whole lot of talented new people that that um, I think deserves a shot. And um, I thank God that He used me to be able to give people opportunities and shots. Somebody gave it to me, and I just want to be a blessing that somebody blessed me with. Ain't that nice? Well, I've been in the industry 25 years and I finally just got my shot. So I finally just acted in the web series a couple of weeks ago. So I'm like, interesting. So, you know, it was, it was real interesting for me to do something outside the box. So, you know, it was, it was real interesting. Expand your horizons, baby. God taking you to new levels. That's and it. just remember this, the higher you go, new level, new devil. That's right. That that is right, Miss Patty. That is right. I'm so glad that you was on here. You
Ay. Oh, I think this thing is freezing now. It's starting to freeze. Work with you. Let me do it. No. In the beginning, I told y'all what was going on. Y'all didn't believe and have faith. So now all of a sudden, y'all want to get back aboard now. No. If they're not with you in the beginning, they don't need to be with you in the end. Shut your mouth and keep on talking. That's, That's the truth. Right. That's that the truth. But you know, people come, people come in different forms and things. And sometimes you don't know which way they come and they flip-flop on you. You know what I'm saying? So yes, you have to be careful. Yes. That's why I say you have to listen to your spirit. You know what I mean? Yes, and, I and sometimes people are with you for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. That's it. That's how they are, Miss Hattie. They like try to get what you got or steal what you got instead of like, you know, the world is so big. Basically, it's enough work out there for everybody. So if they see you doing something, they shouldn't hate on you. If it, if they got something that you could benefit from, everybody should work together to make it, you know, all is one instead of trying to tear my brothers and sisters down and not work together and encourage each other to say, hey, Miss Hattie, you know, you're doing something great. Thanks for the motivation. Instead of that, they going around saying she ain't nothing, she ain't going to be nothing, she ain't going to do this, but they got but connected. You, but you got to remember this, baby. Your haters are your motivators. That's it's it. a lot of time. B motivation. Tell them haters, get on your job. You know, T.I., I love that So Tell them, get on your job. Tell them, haters, get on your job, baby. A motivation. Hey, that's the truth. You know, sometimes, sometimes those very haters are the ones that's going to push you to yeah. your next level. So don't, 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 don't discount the haters. Don't discount the haters. Because the haters, they, they there for a reason. That's it, Miss Hattie. Yep. If you ain't got no haters, then that means you ain't doing something right. If you got at least exactly. one person hating on you, exactly. you doing something right. Exactly. exactly. You might be right about that, baby. So don't, 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 don't underestimate them haters. You know what I mean? Let them do their job because they have a job too. That's right. That's right. You heard it first here with Miss Hattie, aka Miss Patrice Lovely. She's a great, yeah, inspiring lady. Um, tell everybody a little bit about your time um, with the Universal Soul Circus. How was that experience? Ooh, that my they just left all of I when I tell you I loved I loved what I did and God had me on that path for a reason. And so I was the first African American female ringmaster in the world. And I met people from all over the world, all over the world. And I I was um controlling the show pretty much and just bringing comedy bringing laughter i never forget it was this man that he came there he had no desire to come to a circus and a matter of fact that night he said he was going to commit suicide and he was just bringing his baby to um to see the show and he would go home and uh, commit suicide but when he got to the circus this was a different message so when they brought me there, they asked me to just do whatever I wanted to do. And so my message was through the whole circus was God don't care about your color. He didn't care about whether you're black, you're white, you're African, you're Mexican, you're Ethiopian, all them kids. God don't care about that. It's about your heart. It's about your heart and you loving each other and, and bringing unity to the world. And he works on us piece by piece. And each time I would say piece by piece, I would take off a piece of clothing and then I came out as Patrice. And mm -hmm. then I sang, we fall down, but we get up. Hi. I love the song. And so that man came to me and he was crying so he had tears in his eyes and he said, I just want to say thank you because my my plan was uh, to commit suicide tonight. I'm going to get emotional. My plan was to commit suicide. But when I came here, then you ministered to me and that saved me. Thank you. Thank you. So I know that it was strange for me to be in the circus because I never did that before. Yeah. And so they came and took me off of the stage and uh, God had me there for a whole two, three years. And I never completed the task 
because something would happen, it was crazy, and I would leave. But it wasn't until I completed that task and that mission that God had me on, and then Tyler came and took me, and, and I had my own sitcom. And that's how that worked. So it's a lot of times things don't feel good to you, and then you don't even understand things. But if you trust him, things just work out in your favor. And then you start to see, when you do what God tell you to do, then you start to see the manifestation of, of you being faith of being obedient that, that's right miss hattie that is so definitely right and like you said at yeah. that given time the word that you had you know god might have you know ministered that to you to give it to him so he won't commit suicide you never know who life you impacting you never know who life you touching it just take one person to listen to what you got going on and be inspired by the stuff that you say you know you're yeah. so right about that um, yeah. How did it feel um, to start on um, Love Thy Neighbor um, as the character Hattie? How did you feel about that in the beginning? And, and, and how, how, did, how was all that? It, 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 was, it, 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 it was a big change. It was definitely a big change because I come from theater and everything has to be big in theater. So the people in the nosebleed section can see you. So I had to get adjusted to... Uh, being in this little frame, in this little full, small box. And when Tyler came to me, he said, tone it down. I, he said, now we're in the theater, uh, in, the, in the studio. You don't have to project. He said, project, but not as much. I said, well, look at him. I said, let me tell you something. I don't know nothing about this on TV. So he said, don't you worry. I got you. And he took me under his wing and he just taught me. He taught me television. And so, and you know, the to see and to hear all the many people that love that show and enjoy watching that show mm -hmm. to bring laughter. You know, the Bible says laughter is good like medicine, you yeah. know? And especially with all these things that's going on right now in the world, we need laughter. We, do. we, need, we need healing. The country needs to, to heal. And I believe if we go back to the beginning and back to our main focus, which should be God, then we'll we'll be okay. The, the land will recover, you know? That's right. That's right. Yeah. So it's just a blessing that God blessed me with that, with that. And I didn't, I didn't know. I never went to school for any acting. I never went to school for um anything, you know, other than just basic school. And when I was in 11th grade, I quit that. Yeah. So uh, God has had his hands on me and been protecting me um, down through the years. And I'm so thankful that people love me. And I love the people because we feed, we feed off of each other. They give, that, they give me energy too. Sometimes I want to quit. Sometimes I want to just say, uh, you know, I'm going to just retire and do something different. But he won't let me do it and neither would they. And That's they right and I feed them so we we work together that's right that's right Miss Hattie well this yeah. is my time you have to go to your next interview but we definitely glad here at Perfect Legacy Promotions to be interviewing Miss Hattie aka Patrice Lovely from you know her from the Universal Soul Circus you know her from Love Thy Neighbor you know her from Medea Family Funeral everybody make sure y'all check her out this was a great interview. You made my day, and and I'm just glad that you were here and hope to talk to you soon. And I love you as a fan. I love you as a person and hope to talk to you soon. Thank you. Okay. I love your energy. Your energy just radiates through through the um through the thing here. You have such a such a good spirit and you keep going you keep allowing god to lead you and you walk in that light and you stay on that path that god has given you blessings to you and to your business and stay safe love you bye bye, -bye.